This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course, and I'm on level 7, Picnic Buster. All right, let's see. Remember that enemies may not exist. Fancy. Wall true. So this is our loop. A loop makes something repeat forever. So anything between this bracket and this bracket will repeat. Not once, not twice. It will just keep going forever. So, and then right now we have our hero. Let's see, look around and find the nearest enemy. Okay, then what? Oh, if there is an enemy, attack. All right, attack enemy. I'll leave their named enemy and attack enemy. Right, let's give that a shot. What's going on here? Argument attack. Fix your code. Line five. Attack arguments target should not have type object. Oh, that's what's happening. Are you getting this error? Maybe you're not. If there is an enemy, that's why you must use the if statement because you need to double check that there actually was an enemy. What a variable actually does, what happens here is you create this empty thing that is named enemy. Then you tell your hero to look around. If your hero finds someone, they're named enemy. If they don't find anyone, there's just this name enemy with nothing assigned to it. Nothing exists that is actually enemy. And then the code tries to attack nothing. That's what the if statement saves us from. The if statement says, okay, once you've looked around, did you actually find something? Did you actually name something enemy? Or did you just create enemy with nothing there? Now we attack. Let's try that now. Oh, um, let's get rid of that, though. Boom. Boom. This is looking good. Let's see if it works. Excellent. This looks like a mission accomplished. Perfect. 